yet I do not think you have a clue of how Jesus suffered for you and I for our redemption. Jesus just doing and doing all his pain. And Jesus glanced down through eternity. You do know he knew the end from the beginning. Isaiah 46 and 10. And then he sees us all in here born again. Yet, hold it, he still see us lying, being selfish, backstabbing, fornicators, cheating, homemongers, adulterers, thieves, unforgiving, gluttonous, vulgar, and the list goes on. And Jesus' pain throughout his body as he pushes up. Is now as that as a mega colossal volcano erupting. And he pushes up and he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And the Lord says, I'm doing it now. I am performing it today. I am not a man that I should lie, neither am I the man, the son of man that I should repent. Have I not spoken it, and shall I not make it good? The very thing you've been waiting for will manifest today. You feel abandoned, dropped off, uncared for, but fret not. God has not forgotten you. He knows where you are, and it matters to him. You are not the least, the last, nor are you the let go. You are the righteousness of God. The word says, choose ye this day whom you will serve. Will you serve God or will you serve man? Today we can rejoice. And here's the blessing. Not only that he saw me, but because the story went over, he still sees me. I don't have to worry and just stop right there. It would have been enough if he just saw me in my wretched state. But because my Savior still lives, he sees me when I'm lonely. He sees me when I'm sad. He sees me when I'm depressed. He sees me when I'm broke down. It's his love. And if he saw me then, as he was dying, how much more in his arisen state, seated at the right hand of the throne of the Father, is that we no longer have to sit in the place that we feel like he has left us. He has made a way of escape for us. He, has, he was our great sacrifice that we can come to him and never ever feel forsaken. Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor will I ever forsake you. When you need me, I'm right there. When you need me, I'm right there. So thank God for him dying on that cross, taking our sins to the cross, that we no longer have to live forsaken, but we can come to him boldly to the throne. Never, ever, ever thirst again. Indeed, the water that I give him will, bring, will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Y'all can sit here and play if you want to. But see, I was that Samaritan woman at the well. I was dry, I was parched, I was dark, I was thirsty, I was going over here, I was going over there, I was going to him, I was going to them. But I was still thirsty. But then I heard the small voice say, daughter, daughter, my sweet daughter, draw from me and you will never ever never ever never ever be dry again no longer do i have to remain on the crossroads hanging between two realities of what was and what is to come it's time for me to give up the ghost on some issues in my life and come off my cross and declare that it's over my work is all done like jesus i have the power to end my journey all things are complete in order my dues have been paid it is finished yes so i need in my last minute up here i need everyone to take an introspective look over some things that had you perplexed some things you've been struggling with some things that had you on your personal cross and say no longer will I be on the cross of conflict. No longer will I be on the cross of chaos. No longer will I be on the cross of confusion. No longer will I be on the cross of complacency. No longer will I be on the cross of condemnation. No longer will I 
be on the cross of contradiction. I need to take one final look and wave goodbye to my struggles, realizing that those things must come to an end and declare, it is finished. Say it again with me. It is finished. One more time. It is finished. God bless you, Mount Zion. The first word out of the mouth of Jesus is Father. Now who better to call on in the valley of life than the valley's exterior and interior decorator? Jesus knew that God was in complete control. For he called on the same Father in Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. The same Father in Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The same Father in Father, I stretch my hand to thee. Ah, Jesus cried out in confidence because he first believed that he was God and that he was a rewarder of them that diligently seek him.